Sedhiji, when we talk again of progress and development in this country and growth, we somewhere miss the fine line between development and growth, and we think both are synonymous. What are some of the things that we can really look forward to? When we talk of growth in terms of a 9% growth or an 8% growth, or the industrial sector is not growing and the manufacturing sector is not growing, but the services sector is growing, and you know, you talk in terms of these figures, it's very mind-boggling, and you think of India as you know striding ahead, um, you know, really one of the top league countries. When we think about development, you think of uh, people like uh, those two women uh, that uh, we had met in um, in Thane district mm -hmm. in a taluka called uh, Mukhada. It is near Mumbai, you know, absolutely the uh, the queen of everything, and then. Mukhada, little Mukhada in, in Thane district, and they said that humse log kehte hain ki apna pata do jab hum apne liye card banwane jaate hain, pila card ya antodaya ka card, par hum kya pata de? Hum to peer ke niche rehte hain. So uh, that development means when it can reach the development of those tribal women from Mukhada who live under a tree. That to me is development. Now the point is. How do we bridge? I think this is the question. I wish I had a very mm -hmm. good answer for it. When you say that India moving on, say 2000, uh, 2025 goals and stuff like that, what do you think are our strengths that we have which makes us really stand apart and we'll be able to take the lead? You know, I, I'm an old person, so I'm not discounting the wisdom of age. But I think something about the youth of this country um, there is something very positive when you look at the, you know, I, you, in, in a place, uh, uh, for example, I'll give you another example. In, in uh, Jalpaiguri district, uh, you know, the, the issue of in this 21st century, people still get mauled by elephants in the closed tea estates, where tea estates are closed, but still people are eking out a living, still they are making CTC, you know, still there is uh, activity going on there, but the incomes have gone down and everything is in a very decrepit state. And the people and the elephants come because in any case we have destroyed the environment. So elephants up na habitat kahan se dhune. So they come sometimes in the basti and there is mauling and there is loss of life even to this day. Youth on their own got together and they made an organization called Jan Van Maitri Sangh. Okay. And young girls and young boys, they decided that we will not in our house. We will act as a, as a guard to the people. And in the Sangh, they will go and they will warn the people so they, were, they are able to uh, prevent any such destruction of life. You know, I found that this uh, feeling among youth and I feel that we have to basically uh, mobilize the youth and especially the urban youth who are who of always, I mean, there is a lot of consumer culture all around and so on. But <clears throat> we have to bridge the gulf between the village and the urban, the city. And we have to make them understand that they, it, it's equally their problem. And the, the urban youth and the rural youth, I think there, is, there was what uh, uh, President Abdul Kalam was so enthusiastic about, is this ignited minds mm. of children. I think we see a lot of hope in that. Sivija, you came to the National Commission for Women. So how did that equip you to do your role as an activist better? When I came to the National Commission for Women, तो क्योंकि मैं औरतों के ही मसलों से जूझती आ रही थी तो मुझे यह लगा कि मेरे पास हाथ में एक ऐसी कुवत आ गई है कि अब मैं कुछ भी कर सकती हूं फिर मैंने यह ये रियलाइज किया इट टुक मी अ लॉन्ग टाइम टू रियलाइज दैट इट्स नथिंग व्हिच विल हैपन यू नो जस्ट बिकॉज़ आई हैव गॉट अ पोजीशन और आई एम अपॉइंटेड आई कैन नॉट देयर इज नो देयर इज नो अदले जहांगीर ये कोई घंटी नहीं है कि किसी गांव से कोई बजाए और वो बजे और उसके लिए हम फौरन उसके लिए रिड्रेसल कर दें सिस्टम्स को चेंज करना कितना मुश्किल है तो वही सिस्टम्स को चेंज करने में जैसे महिलाओं पे जो हिंसा होती है वायलेंस अगेंस्ट वेमेन या लड़कियों का बच्चियों का जो रेप होता है उसके सिस्टम्स को चेंज करने का मतलब आप कानून बदल दें फिर कानून का फिर उसके बाद क्या उसके लिए आप मशीनरी उसके लिए उसके लिए यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड द फंडिंग इनिशियली वेन यू कम इन टू दीज पोजिशन यू आर फुल ऑफ होप्स 
enthusiasm and totally clueless about what to do. Mm. So, you know, for one or two years you're fumbling away. Mm -hmm. And then when, you know, you learn the ropes and you try to do, do things differently. So you must have really seen a change in the last 15 to 20 years in terms of uh, gender issues and the status of women. Anything you'd like to map or talk about? One burning issue which I think is completely possessing us now and that is the declining child sex ratio. So, um, ye ek, uh, 2011 census ke baad to ye cheez is har ek ne usko recognize kiya hai and it's become it's, it's really like wake up call for the whole country. Ji. That uh, we had earlier heard that uh, girls are being imported. Uh, Assam se ladkiyan Haryana lai ja rahi hain. Aur Haryana mein Kashmir se brides a rahi hain. Orissa mein um, declining ho raha hai, decline sex ratio ho raha hai. I have decided now in my position that I'm going to address declining uh, child sex ratio in a, in a multi-sectoral way. Okay. It's not the work of women and child, you know, because we are in the government, the government. So it's not, a, uh, not the responsibility of women and child, it's equally this responsibility of health, of rural development, of agriculture, of panchayati raj, of science and technology. So what, what we are trying to do is to bring many stakeholders around the table and ask what can you do. Mm -hmm. And even if they can do little things, a notification issue kar diya, just say ke aaj nahi to kal uska koi effect hoga. Matlab systems ko change karne ke liye multi-sectorally koi kya kar sakta hai. Because yes, sex ratio, or kai kai jaga to sex ratio, 600 pe pahunch gaya or every thousand. But you know something? We also have parts in this country where the sex ratio is for every thousand boys, there are 1,013 girls. Okay. So you can imagine if there are 600 girls, that means 413 girls are missing. Mm. Because actually the female fetus has better survival chances. A lot